What I wanted to talk to you about more today is um, batteries because placement of batteries was a question in the group. So what is important in regards to that? Well, actually the most important is to understand what, what kind of batteries you are dealing with because uh, we have two different kinds of lithium batteries. We have the old kind, which is NMC. Uh, that's um, um, nickel, uh, manganese, cobalt. And then you have the new type, which is LFP, lithium, iron, phosphate. So this is an example of a LFP battery. We only use LFP batteries. So let's see if I can find that uh, specification on the packaging. No, we will have to open it. I'm not going to open it now, but... So, but anyway, the point is that this is LFP and NMC, if you see like on YouTube, if you see explosions in EV cars and things like that, that's um, NMC, that's not LFP. So that's the first thing that you have to understand is the difference between those two things. And that's also in regards to pollution because NMC, they pollute a lot because they have those uh, rare metals but um, LFP does not and also in the LFP batteries they don't uh, have have to use those uh, you know bad condition mines open mines in Africa and, and uh, in Congo and all that because lithium is uh, much more widely available and iron phosphate is no problem to get so LFP is much more environmentally friendly also. But let's talk about placement because that's the topic in this video. So because LFP is much safer, that's the difference between NMC and LFP is that LFP is much safer. So then when you're dealing with LFP, you can put them almost anywhere in terms of safety. So we have it in the living room here. You can see this is our living room. And this is the LFP battery, 8 kilowatt LFP battery. Um, so then in regards to placement, the most important is the, where it's good for you, where it's convenient for you to have it. Now, for installation purposes, the best is close to the breaker panel. So that's why we have it here. But if that's not convenient, then you can put it outside or anywhere you want but not direct sunlight that's the one thing to avoid so uh, east side is fine east side of a house in the shade west side i try to avoid for sure even in the shade because it's much more hot obviously and the, the hotter the battery um, the hotter the conditions where the battery is the the shorter lifetime the battery will have even though the the difference is not enormous there certainly is a difference so it's important to uh, have the battery in a place where at least not it doesn't get uh, really hot uh, but east side like i said is fine it all depends on the situation so actually in the continuation of this video we'll look, look at different situations i'll find some pictures and we can look and we'll talk about uh, each and every situation okay guys we are now in the office and we'll take a look at some different installations and some examples so we'll start with an outside installation um this is an off-grid system where we have the batteries outside on the east, that's the most important. Um, like I said, that, that it will not have the afternoon sun, so it will stay uh, in re reasonable temperature on this uh, east side. There's a platform here keeping uh, the battery safe from flooding. There's also some coverage. He could expand the coverage a little bit over here. He does have this, and he does have, that's actually the solar panels that you can see here. So there is some uh, cover for the rain, but he could expand that a little bit, but it's not completely necessary because the batteries are uh, waterproof. It's just that uh, submersion is, is not uh, possible. So this is a nice uh, placement uh, and also shows that you can actually put it, um, put it outside. Of course, as long as you control safety in terms of theft and 
things like that. So um, let's go to the next example. This is a very nice example because here this is outside and the question was for this client he didn't want the system inside. So then where could we put it? So we said you can put it outside here but then we should make an enclosure for safety and temperature control. So here we said we want this kind of roof and he made an enclosure with what we said. And notice that the roof actually has uh, foam and uh, we, we do that even though it's only equipment because it helps with the temperature of course. So even though it's only equipment, try to temperature control it as much as possible. Um, but I mean you, you have to think where is the sun coming and things like that. Obviously if there's never direct sunlight there, then it wouldn't be necessary. Uh, so we had an installation that we did not so long time ago where we also installed east outside but the overhanging roof was so big that there was never any direct sunlight so we didn't have to make an enclosure there so and you see the platform here 15 centimeter high uh, keeping it safe from flooding the breaker panel is about five meters to the left here so we are where we want to be now, of course, uh, the lifetime of the battery would be a little bit longer if it was inside. So that's why we do put it inside when, um, when that's a good option. Uh, like here, um, this is a very nice placement because the UPS is just to the left here. And the main breaker panel is just outside here. And uh, the, there's temperature control in the room. Uh, and air conditioner and everything it's there's like a living space just you know behind here so this will have nice temperature and prolong the lifetime but if you don't have it and you, there's many cons of putting uh, the battery inside then don't think of that as a alpha omega that you have to have it inside absolutely not so uh, but um, it does increase the lifetime of the battery a little bit. Like it's difficult to quantify because it de depends on so many uh, variables. But uh, it does prolong the battery life a little bit. So we'll take a look at an example where there's complete temperature control. In many big villas there are utility rooms that we can use. So in this case, uh, the client had a utility room, obviously perfect placement for a solar. We have the breaker panel here, we have the MDB here, the main distribution board, and then we have the solar. We, this is a two inverter system, it's what we call a hybrid coupled system. There's an on-grid inverter that you can't see above here, and then you have the main system here. All in the utility room with air condition. Now the customer has many other things here, not only the solar, so this is not done only for solar, but when a villa has a utility room, of course we love to work in it because it's the perfect place for solar. It's the best of all world, worlds because when the client wants to check something, he doesn't have to go outside and also it's temperature controlled for lifetime, but don't don't think of it like you must have this kind of perfect uh, location, absolutely not, because the amount of lifetime that you lose in a battery if it's not perfect is not that much. As long as you avoid west and as long as you avoid direct sunlight. And of course the closer to the breaker panel you are, the shorter cables, the less loss, everything like that. So uh, those are the important things. So. I hope that was a good summary for you guys. I mean, the most important is basically not to use NMC and then you are good and then not direct sunlight. And then, of course, if you have the opt optimal room like this, it's even better.